kolları var. Hı hı. Oh, left again. Uh, so you think you're, that one's better, but you think you're kind of aiming left and then you're kind of like fixing it as you go? Yeah, a I'm little definitely bit. trying to just compensate for it. Okay. So how do you, uh, how do you end up aiming at your target? Do you do it all based on your feet and then your shoulder? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I really, I try to just picture the target and I've always just, you know, been a field player. Okay. So I just picture the target and then I just go from there. Okay, so I'm just going to recommend one thing that might help a lot. Uh, so if we're going on to this flag, the second one right here, uh, there's a few different images in the background. So we got the palm trees and then we got the mountains. Yeah. Which one stands out more to you? Palm, the palms or the mountains? Uh, I'd probably say like the top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. Way back, okay. way back, yeah. So one thing that works, if, if you come behind your ball mm -hmm. and you look at your target, let's say this pin right here, you see that uh, there's a V in the mountain mm -hmm. and there's a peak. Yeah. So you can kind of go off that peak right yeah, there, exactly. kind of come behind it, pick your peak, then you can come up on the side, keep your eye on it. Same thing, just putting your club down, getting your feet set, and then you can kind of tinker your setup based on based on that point. Yeah. So that helps a lot more uh, if you pick a point like that, uh -huh. especially, because if you pick something, just the pin or the green, it's too big of a target. Yeah. So we're trying to limit narrow and get down. our target a little bit smaller. Okay. Yeah, narrow it down exactly. It sounds like you get it. Okay. Good, if you get the bounce, that's going to be right next yeah. to the pin. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so keep working on that. Perfect.